My vision for PSI is a more focused PSI. It's a more visible PSI. It's a PSI that stands on two legs. One leg is uh, our campaigns and uh, our solidarity projects. The other leg is uh, the PSI as a negotiation partner. International solidarity. It's not as obvious as it was 100 years ago when PSI was founded. Because of that, I think we, we should be much more willing to build closer relations between those who really need the international solidarity and those who maybe are a little bit not so sure about whether the international solidarity is uh, something for the 21st century. It is. On my background, I've been able to be a leader over the last 10 years in developing the social dialogue and the European basis and we have been able to take the employers on the other side of the table, drag them to the table, finding the way how can we develop what we call social dialogue. If this can happen in Europe, I'm quite convinced we can do it in other places. We can also convince the world that if you want to have a strong economy, you also rely on a strong public sector. When you look into the future, I'm quite convinced that there might be time for a change if PSI should have the support that it deserves uh, in the future. I think that communication is so important. For instance, the respect to the trade union rights. Well, it still doesn't exist in uh, far too many countries. And we have to fight that. And it's a great story because sometimes when you look into what happens to active trade unionists around the world, it's outrageous. You cannot imagine how tough the job is that these people are carrying out. And with the risk of their own life, with the family's life, they're carrying this out. It's a fantastic story. And we have to be able to tell that to much more people around the world. Yeah.